Let's make this papaya food punch. So good, so delicious. Let's get into the video. This recipe, you're going to need papaya. We have two guava, Granny Smith apple, and we have Fijian gala apple, dragon fruit. We have two types of pear. Then we have some carrot, ginger, and then we're gonna use lime and sugar or honey to sweeten, whichever one you would like. So we're going to um, peel our carrots, just to remove the outer skin, and then we're gonna prepare the other, the other to begin our juicing. So let's get into the video. So we're going to peel our carrots. You have a vegetable peeler like this one. You just peel the outer skin like this. If you have a vegetable peeler like this, just peel the outer ends like this. And then you're going to just wash your carrots off after you've done removing the outer skin. You're going to cut the heads off like this. Well, we're just gonna cut this portion off before we wash it. We'll do the same thing for the other one, remove the paper too, because we don't want this in our juice. And then we're going to cut our dragon fruit. So let's move this back out the way that has our trash. We'll bring it closer here. So we're going to take the outer skin from our dragon fruit and let's go ahead and cut our papaya. Oh, there's only a few seeds. I've heard the seeds are good for us. So let me try one and see. Eh, eh, no, not for me. I don't like that at all. Almost need something else. If you're into the seeds, you can have yours. I'm just showing you. I just scrape the seeds out with my spoon, and then I'm going to be juicing it after I wash the outside of the papaya. Have your container with your fruits. Pour some baking soda. You can do this in your sink. I'll move over to the sink once show you this and then I'm just going to rinse it off. And then you just, kind of, you just rinse it first off like this. This one has the paper so we have to be sure that we get it off. And then just wash them. You can use a food brush like I have here. Just wash the outer layers of the fruits and then you just rinse them off so. and it's easy to remove the skin of the dragon fruit you see especially when it's ripe you can just remove it like this it's simple i'll just rest it on top here so now i'm just going to show you how to prepare your apple so you just you can use an apple core too. Um, I'm just using it this way here. And then I remove the inner pieces. Like 
so before I run them through the juicer because I'm trying to stay away from all the seeds and then we do the, very, the same thing for our pear so we put up this head and this side These are just things I have in my refrigerator. And so, I just remove my seeds like so. This is what, oops, let's tilt this back. And this is what we get as our first blend. So this is our natural juice here. So now we're gonna go in with our papaya. This is the outcome of the papaya and two carrots. We're done blending. This is what we got. So we're going to be pouring this straw wire mesh or strainer like so. So we get out all of um, the, the um, residue or trash from it and um, you can strain it however much time you would like I'm just using this spoon to let it go through quickly you can see the pulp forming to the side already if you want to thin this out you can add some water or some type of alcohol to um, but this one is all natural I will add an alcohol to it and you just continue to do that until you strain all the juice and remove all the pulp. You can do it more than one time too, just to be sure. is to the consistency you taste it before I add any sugar mm. so with the natural juices you don't need much sugar I don't think I'm going to add much here I'm just going to add some lime juice then we're just going to squeeze a little lemon in there as well sugar if you like so let's taste this here yeah this is good so look at this goodness so let's pour our glass first and then we'll 
the this deliciousness here and then we're just going to wait for a glass like this Try to mint in here and little mint on top and that is our finished product remember to like subscribe share with your family and friends for more of this food punch.